Hey, how you doing? Okay, we're going to take a look at wall sweeps today. Now, I posted a question on the TGAT Revit Telegram channel. Um, it must have been a couple of weeks ago, actually. Uh, we're asked, which do you prefer? The wall sweep baked into the wall or the manually applied sweep? Uh, Fuez, uh, shout out to you. He's a great supporter of the channel. Appreciate you, Fuez. Uh, he had something to say about it. So anyway, that's what we're going to do. We're going to have a look at both. Uh, how you do it, obviously, and the the, the maybe some of the drawbacks or positives. Okay, uh, that's it. Well, let's get stuck into it, and appreciate your taking the time to watch. Let's do it. Right, we're going to make our wall sweep that's baked into the wall first. Okay, uh, the one that's in the wall buildup. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to put a brick special, a corbelled brick, along the top of the brick. At the transition of the brick to the to the render, okay, and so it just sit proud of the wall, okay. So first thing we're going to need to do is create a profile. So file, uh, new, family, and I'm going to use the metric generic, sorry, metric profile hosted, okay, metric profile hosted, open. Now I'm going to keep this real simple. I'm not going to put parameters or anything. I just want to keep this quick, okay. So line, I'll go down 65 from the intersection point. I'll go out. I don't know what, 35 will do it. Go up 50 maybe. And then in at 45 degrees. And then back to the start point. Okay. Let's save it as something. Save as. Uh, let me just pull that off screen. Okay. We call it Corbel. Okay, save and load into project and close. Excellent. All right, we've got a brick wall selected and I'm gonna go in and edit type, okay? Edit type. Uh, we need to have this preview plane, uh, plane available, okay? So if it's off, that's how you turn it on, down there, preview, and make sure it's on section, okay? So by default, it may be on plan, uh, like so. Change it to section. If you don't, you won't be able to access the sweeps, okay? So structure, edit, uh, I'm going to change the height of the sample height up here to just a meter, make it easier to look at. And I want my profile here at the top of the wall. Okay, that's the location for it. So sweeps is now available. Click on sweeps. Uh, our profile is already loaded into the project, so we don't have to load the profile. We can click on add. There it is. I called it Corbel. Okay. Material, I'll give it that stacked brick material. Okay. Don't want it at the base, I want it at the top of the wall. Perpendicular to face, fine. Side or exterior is correct. Cuts wall, fine, cuttable. Let's check that as well, why not? Apply, there it is, in the right place. And okay. And okay. So there it is, at the top of my brick wall. So anytime I create an instance of this wall type, that brick corbel uh, at the top of the wall will be there, okay? It's part of the wall build up now, okay? Which is great. For example, okay, let me show you what I mean. Now I'm going to grab the gable wall, that guy there, and I'm going to just change the type to be the same as the brick, and you'll see now that it has that brick corbel uh, sweep on the top. Okay, right, our gable wall is back to normal, and now let's look at the other wall sweep type. Okay, so wall sweep versus wall sweep. This one we are going to uh, make is, is manually applied, okay, and it's in the uh, architecture tab as an option under walls. So wall drop down and wall sweep, okay? So we'll go ahead and select that wall sweep and we'll duplicate the default corners, okay? So edit type, duplicate, and we'll call it, sorry, you know, brick corbel or something, okay? Brick corbel, okay. So I'll go ahead and change the material to the same brick soldier course, okay? And I need to select my profile, okay? So profile, drop down menu, uh, corbel, same profile, okay? Uh, could be inserts, sure. Otherwise, that's fine. Okay. Now we just have to hover over the wall. We have an option between horizontal and vertical. I want it to be horizontal, obviously. So I'm just going to flip it onto the wall and press enter. And there it is. Right. If I zoom in, actually, I can use my align tool in the modify tab and just tab and find the bottom of that sweep. And I can align and add lock my manually applied sweep to the wall. And you see they join in as well. So that's pretty good, okay? So 
running around the building there, we have our wall sweep as part of the wall build up, and then we have our manually applied one. Which is better? Hmm, we'll come back to that. Uh, but to be honest with you, it's situational, right? So you can repeat very easily this wall sweep. So if you, I don't know, if it's a coping at the top of a wall on a, on a parapet or something, or a garden wall with a capping on it, that's it's a pretty good solution, you know? You don't want to be going around trying to put these on top of every wall in your, in your project. Uh, but there's lots of reasons why this guy is superior for a lot of other reasons, you know? Let's see if we can have a bit of fun with this, okay? Architecture tab, wall sweep uh horizontal over the window restart vertical to the left of the window restart vertical to the right of the window enter escape escape select this guy and flip it because uh the, the the kind of the chamfers on one side okay into our south elevation i'm going to use my align tool i'm going to take the lock off because it doesn't like lock too much okay so align to the top of the window Line to the top of the wind to the side of the window, line to the side of the window, and pull this guy in to there, pull this guy in to meet it. You see the way they trim to each other. And this guy pull that in. Perfect. And where would we bring it up to swear here ish? And likewise. Okay, look at that in 3D, right? It may not be the profile you want, or you may not want to do that in brick, obviously, but you get the idea. Uh, using the, pro, the the sweep tool, we could do that. We can put a surround on a window, or an edge, you know, a corner, or whatever. You know, you can think of it, you can do it, okay? Well, if you're not convinced yet uh, about the manually applied wall sweep, this, this might be the clincher, okay? Uh, I'm going to zoom in there a little bit, and I'm going to... Lock my 3D view so I can apply annotations, okay? I could do it in, a, in an elevation, but I'll just save the orientation lock view. Okay, so it's locked. Now, you couldn't do this in Revit 22, and I wasn't really paying attention to Revit 23, so I'm not sure. But in Revit 24, at least, you can now tag your wall sweep. How cool is that, right? So, uh, brick, uh, corbel, loads of stuff. About it. Okay, so we can tag our wall sweep, but only the manually applied one. Okay, so watch this. We can't, we cannot at this moment in time, in November 2024, we cannot tag the sweep that's baked into the wall. Have to do it. All right. Now, obviously, you can have that information in the wall because if it's a permanent part of the wall, you can have that information permanently in the wall. But you can't specifically tab tag the, the the wall sweep. But you can tag this guy, which for me is great. That's great news. That's 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 progress. One more thing I forgot. Okay. So we have another control uh, which makes this guy better, and it's this. So we go into visibility graphics or model categories. We can turn off wall sweeps in the view so we can add walls click the drop down there it is wall sweep we can turn it off and okay so it turns off the manually applied one but it doesn't turn this guy off which can be a pain so if you let's say you put a use this, this type of sweep on your wall to put a skirting board in that skirting board in plan might just you know one is to 100 it's just a big thick black line so good okay so one more reason. Uh, look at, let me know what you think. Well, I hope you found that useful. Uh, we covered a fair bit there. Uh, look, plenty of pros and cons. Which one do you want yourself? Uh, look, the, the answer is both, okay? So in the repeating instance, like I said, on a, on a garden wall or at the top of a parapet, you're gonna use the baked in uh, sweep. But where you don't want to have to have different wall types for the same, effectively the same wall, except for localized cappings and different things, then, you know, use the manually applied uh, wall sweep. Listen, if you enjoy the video, give it a like. And if you haven't, if you haven't already at this point, I don't know why, but if you haven't, subscribe to the channel. All right. Uh, like and share, all that stuff. Appreciate you. Thanks.